Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Let's play random on the B side. I don't wanna play Isaac with Judas. I don't want to play Isaac with normal keeper or the forgotten or, well, I mean, Jacob could be kind of interesting. I want to play Isaac as weird, horrible characters that are very difficult to play with, e.g. Tainted Cain. I want more struggle in my my Isaac life. So let's play as uh, Tainted Bethany instead. We, we recently played as Tainted Bethany and I think it went fine. So we'll see what happens with her today. That's uh, not what I meant to do. Luck up, I'm excited. Well, we're down to one spirit heart immediately. Uh, might have done things differently if I, you know, knew that I needed a bomb in that curse room, but we should have just waited anyways. No reason to do it early. I, I guess there is a reason to do it early for speed, but that's not a good reason because it just gets you killed. You gotta go a little bit slower in Isaac. Isaac's a game that does not exactly reward speed. Ironically enough, because now we just have lots of speed. Oh my God, it's always Ragman. I hate this guy without having bombs. You, you would think that Ragman, you know, I'm gonna use this, toothpicks. You think that Ragman would F off on these runs instead of appearing on like every single run we've done recently, but there he is, his homing shots. He also cheats, like he definitely cheats with his homing shots. Uh-oh. Hey, cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Hit him in the head! Hit him in the head! I don't know why, but his head, it seemed like it took a long time for it to, uh, like, register. Okay, evil up. We have some more bombs. Let's open up this, uh, locked chest. We get a range up. Point one one two, because it's Tainted Bethany, all stats are bad, or at least worse than they normally are, so this is not a good range up. Ragman is one of the most BS bosses, says Spidey, Spidey MTF2. I gotta figure out how to, like an easy pronunciation for that. Ragman is an annoying boss. You will never hear me say that he is not an annoying boss. He's pretty bad. Any early game boss that summons extra enemies, Spidem, that works, is very frustrating to deal with when you have low damage or you're low on HP. You know, give me a, uh, give me a Monstro fight any day of the week. I'll fight Monstro, no problems. You know what? We have 300, and, or 932 bucks. Let's see if we can get like a smelter. We got none, okay, well, fair enough. Snail God Onion says, in my head, I'm like, why does he pick up all the consumables now after the cane run? I'm actually thinking the same thing in my head. I'm like, I should not be picking up all these consumables right now, but there's no reason not to. We're not on cane anymore. Well, we don't have enough money. Um, we can get to 14 cents, which is not enough for anything. So I think we'll look for the second secret room. And it's not worth it, so we're gonna leave. That's fair enough. I guess we should take matchstick. To, to randomly get more bombs, sure. Smelter Pog F. Smelter is one of the ways that we can gain additional permanent stats on a run, and when playing as uh, Tainted Bethany, that's actually quite important since the stat upgrades you get are bad or temporary. Bad if they are actual items and temporary if they come from wisps. So it would be nice, it would be lovely to have the uh, Wow, I really wish I had a bomb now. It would be very nice to have uh, the smelter, but oh well. well. We'll survive without it, I suppose. Hey, good, no bombs. Gluttony. I don't mind stacking up plenty of red hearts early. There goes my compass. 
I don't mind stacking up plenty of red hearts. I want access to late game Lemmageddon charges that can just give me a whole bunch of items. I guess we're just gonna use it. Maggie's bow, HP up, which doesn't actually do anything and you feel healthy. Maybe this gives the red hearts more value when we pick them up, although I doubt it. I think it would be cool though if you did get the HP out of Maggie's bow and then when you lost the wisp you would lose the HP. Dude, it did work. We got 14, we got two red heart charges out of the half heart. Okay. I'm, I'm actually surprised that it works, but I'm glad that it does, because it gives the uh, the Wisp a reason to exist right now. That's pretty sweet. So, we'll be able to stack up additional uh, Red Heart charges off of this. That's pretty sweet. You know what? Thank you, game. Thank you for not, because you easily could have just, you know, given me nothing there, and I would have been like, as expected, game's broken, buggy mess, doesn't get it, give us any items, but no, you decided, hey, we'll give you one more red heart charge. Thank you. Hey, little plum. We could get little plum's item, but I'd rather get uh, stats, because they're hard to come by. Also, we have no bombs in, still, but, uh, you know, none dropped, so I can't access the ones that are there. Please, don't. When did I get this fly item? <laughs> it's probably from an item room, right? At least we have it. Luck up. We will go to the shop. Um... I'm dumb, I should have gone into the curse room. I don't know why, it, I guess, you know, I guess it makes sense not to. Because if you don't, then you can get the deals with the angel, but I actually just kind of forgot. <laughs> I walked out of the room thinking, ah, uh, nah. Oops. Isaac's head. I guess we'll take it, because it is, it's a, a pseudo damage up. please. Um, let's go to the item room. Rune bag is pretty decent. We'll use Lemmageddon. We get Bob's brain. Well, that's really bad. At least Bob's brain gives us the damage that I was kind of hoping we would be able to pick up. Does Nun's Habit even do anything? I think I'd rather just get Spirit Heart and then maybe just like a battery charge. Angry fly, yeah, why not? You know what, because of this, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna go to the freaking curse room. Dude, one day I'm gonna make that dodge. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so bad at it today. Uh. All right, good enough. Let's get out of this floor. I'm done. I'm done with this place. After we play this a few times looking for a bomb or just like free money works too. Okay. All right, alt path it is. As I turn off the light behind me because it's probably gonna be a curse of darkness. Sometimes you just, you know, you know. Sometimes you just know. It's always gonna be Curse of Darkness is basically where I'm getting with it. Sprinkler, um. Mom's contact, okay, this is better. I was tempted to go with the sprinkler, but I think this is actually better. Thank you, Bob's brain. Always say thank you, Bob's brain, because it's actually an okay item. We'll wait for Bob's brain. Got him. Man, Bob's brain is so good. <laughs> to just ice Wormwood this quickly. Dude, Wormwood's freaking dead. 
It's so fantastic. Speed plus damage, thank you very much. Now, ooh, this is really good. I'm glad I didn't take, uh, really glad I didn't take um, Sprinkler now, because we would absolutely take this. And with 22 heart charges, I think I'm just gonna pop Lemmageddon a few times. We could use Prayer Card for HP, but we can just do that over time. We, we, we don't lose the white hearts getting hit, so we can easily stack up HP. Let's pop them again to get some items. Odd Mushroom, uh, the skinny version, Rainbow Baby, Jacob's Ladder, Jesus Juice. So we didn't get any Angel Room items, unfortunately, but we still have some good items. I'm happy with this. This ended up working quite well. Prayer Card. We can always use red heart charges to give us an extra HP going down a floor, but now our health is like sorted. Yeah, it's not as good as um, other possible health giving items. It's a little slow. It's only a half heart at a time, but it's still pretty good. I'm actually tempted to go into the uh, boss trap room. Although, yeah, yeah, we should because we can teleport out with the Emperor. So let's, um, I only have one bomb. I, I need a fire. I guess we have the curse room. I, I, I just want to get the item and teleport out, so let's do it. We have HP waiting for us here with the black hearts, and, we, and we're gonna go to the, the mirror anyways. Yeah, that's very worth it. Yeah, rate of fire is actually quite good. And with the uh, Jacob's Ladder, every time our shot hits a wall or an enemy, it creates electricity. So rate of fire is pretty decent here. So thank you, Holy Mantle. Oh my God, it's impossible to see in this room. Or like in the mirror, I should say. <laughs> it's freaking impossible. Yeah, I can just shoot into a wall next to me and it will hurt the enemies. That's pretty, pretty cool. How did you not die from that? I exploded the pot you were gonna pick up, but I didn't hit you. That was stupid. Um, I used red hearts for my prayer card. That was not intentional. That was just me being dumb. Thank you, Bob's brain. Bob's brain missed. What? Got him. Synth oil, damage plus range up. I'll take it. Awas. You know what? If we get another boss trap room in the future, we can use that Awas to get out, so we'll hold it. Okay, good freaking stuff. Is that boss trap room still open? No. I was gonna say if it's open, I could use Lemmageddon in it, but I think we'll just pop Lemmageddon here. Eve's Mascara. Uh, here's the thing, I actually like Eve's Mascara, so I'm happy to have it, I'm happy to see it. Thank you, Eve's Mascara. I'm not gonna take the battery charge. We don't need it. We really don't. You know, I am a little bit dumb. I think, well, no, because we only had the one bomb. If we had two bombs, we could have gotten into the boss trap room for uh, for free and kept our health. We're fine. Thank you, Bob's brain. I just realized it would be really funny if on a Tainted Cane run you had a cheap recipe for Bob's brain and you could just keep making an infinite number of Bob's brains on your run. Hey, you know what? Whatever works, we know because of the, uh, I forgot the name of the challenge where you get Bob's brain. But we know because of that challenge you can make a Bob's brain run work. I'm gonna take Cricket's leg now. I'll take one plus one, which is pretty good. 
and we'll see um, what kind of a deal we get here. If it is a deal with the devil, it might be worth getting rid of some of our HP so that we can go into that boss trap room. And if we get prayer card charged, we could just um, use that to keep us alive, or maybe we could just use the uh, Awaz room to get out if there's nothing else on the floor for us. So I wanna try to find that deal with the devil quick. And there's our boss room. Our damage is actually pretty decent with that lightning. Lightning? Electricity. Hey, Chubb. Thank you, Bob's brain. <laughs> Freaking love Bob's brain, man, it's so good. All right, this is gonna cost us like a lot of health, but I really, I really do wanna go into that curse room or a uh, boss trap room. You know, let's um finish, exp well, yeah, let's finish, ex finish exploring. If we find some sort of like self-sacrifice room, we'll use that. What? Oh, right. Well, actually, no right. It's just, that's a weird situ- I accidentally used Berthrow. I thought it was Burkano. I understand what happened. He was under the ground. Yes? <laughs> oh, God. He was under the ground. And as a result, was creating creep because he was a champion. I get it. Dude, we have a C-section again, by the way. I love this item. <laughs> I really do think this is a fun item. You know what? Oh, I was gonna take it, but I'm gonna I decided against it, actually. On second thought, let's not take it. That's a silly idea. Hey, there's a curse room. So there is at least one good reason. Dude, I love electric babies. There's at least one good reason not to just ruin our HP earlier. We are missing out on charges out of the uh, prayer card, but whatever. It's only blue hearts. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I'm ready. Yoink. Why pick up the HP? Good point, except we are going to leave the floor as soon as we, right, don't waste your wisps, as soon as we go into that boss trap room, because we have Awas. Some sparkly fetuses, it is some sparkly fetuses. Where's the spikes, over here? There we go. All right, let's see what we get and get the heck out of this floor. I don't care about going back to uh, to the mines. Maybe getting another boss trap room. Let's just leave. Speed up. Honestly, could be worse. Oh God, get out! <laughs> Who? So we have two HP now. We have, well, still two HP. All right, I love it because it seems like the fetuses just obliterate everything. Purity is a mass damage increase. Yeah, all of the fetuses are electric. So frantically hectic. And also they do a lot of freezing too. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Ghost pepper. Does it only fire a pepper shot when I fire a fetus? Look, it it makes sense, <laughs> okay? It doesn't sound good, but it makes sense. I wonder when I fire a pepper shot. When I'm charging or or what? Because I haven't, I haven't gotten a single one yet. I'm sometimes firing multiple fetuses too. Good old multi-fetus. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. The lightning is just wrecking havoc. I love it. I don't need the eraser. 
Now, Charge Baby, though. Very interesting, because now maybe we can get more charges on our HP in Lemmageddon. Like, one baby just wrecked. Perks. Perks. Dude, there's a small chance we can get to boss rush. <laughs> a little crazy, but is technically possible. Uh, ooh, Jar of Wisps. We have Wisps and an item that gives us Wisps. That could be interesting. Just keep the prayer card. Prayer card's better. Awas. We'll take it. We have a minute and a half. If I could get to boss rush, I would do it. Hopefully we can do it without having to, like, sacrifice too much, but we, we, we're getting through the rooms very quickly. So there is a there is a chance for this. I mean, the the lightning fetuses are just incredible. It's such a good item. <laughs> that's that's what I love about it. It's it's a weird item that's also just like really freaking good. I'm gonna go back for those hearts. I'm gonna leave the timer up too, so we can keep an eye on it. I'll buy the HP. Why not? It's uh, most of a charge of like Lemmageddon. Oh, dude! If we get the full card, we can we can explore after we do boss rush. Or we could even we could go fight the beast on this one. Especially if we're going to uh, get to boss rush and leave anyways. And we are going to get to boss rush. Quite handily, actually. So, what is this? Awas? Don't need it. We'll take the Polaroid for invincibility. Head into boss rush. What do we got? I, I guess we could just do boss rush. We're going to get a lot of charges. I don't know. Do, do you think Fire Mind would work well here? Oh my god, fire babies. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like it. Electrical fire babies? Sounds good to me. You know what I like about this? It's a great way of getting charges. Really, really quickly. This damage is absurd. C-section is such a cool item. Well, there's HP. Next wave is Lemmageddon. Scapular. How many items can you get from Lemmageddon? Can you just like keep stacking up the items, get infinite items? Soul of the Lost. Okay, not really what I'm looking for. I got hit from something. I don't fly. Maybe that's what I got hit by. Yo, listen. Decent. Thank you, babies. Our damage is really good. And yeah, we're actually gaining a lot of health for doing this, too. Yeah, give me the Gaz. King baby. Not really that helpful right now, but maybe later. I guess Bob's brain is now a, like an auto-aiming explosion, which is pretty sweet. You know what? Fair, I didn't see you. I should have been paying attention. Oh, come on! What, what keeps exploding? <laughs> I mean, it's probably me, but also at the same time, what keeps exploding? Come on. That was so fast. And the swarm is very decent. So we'll fool card out, and we'll finish off the floor because we still have to find our item room. I love that that fool card is a guarantee. It's so nice. That's a dead end. 
Let's get that off the screen. We don't need to look at the time now. We're in the clear. I want to go to the curse rooms because I want to see if I can find a... Uh, ooh. I want to see if I can find some sweet devil deal items. Give me some more damage. We're packed. The mark. I'll take anything. It's just a range down. It, it looks like it does affect the fetus range, which is unfortunate. I'm kind of disappointed that we had literally no... Um, tears up because of it at all. Which is highly unfortunate, but oh well. We're done with the floor, by the way, so I guess we'll, we'll go. And I, I guess we'll go and fight the beast, because why not? It's an interesting run. On the way up through home, we can also get um, a ton of HP every floor. Because we can... Um... Yoink. Hello? Must be a crawl space. We can get a ton of HP every floor. Um, because every new floor is going to give us a new, um, spirit heart out of our eternal heart. It's actually pretty good. You know what? I'm holding on to this blank rune for no reason. It's an Awaz. <laughs> what would happen if we spawned an Awaz in the Awaz? Think it would crash the game? Thank you. Appreciate it. What exploded? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Nothing was up there to explode. We also have so many spirit heart charges. I'm not saying we're immortal, but we've we've got a lot of backup Lemageddon. Lead pencil. I, I'm excited to see what happens with babies doesn't shoot babies. It just fires the explosive shots. That's fair. What's exploding? It might be like a random baby that I'm shooting. C-section is, uh, Right, that's not my fire. C-section is definitely becoming one of my more favorite items because of just the nature of the floating fetus babies. Dude, car battery is insanely good. It's HP up every time you press spacebar. Uh, it's just such a good item. And it's so interesting. Soul of Cain opens the unopenable. It's a red key. Okay, well we should use it in the appropriate red key room opportunity. So let's go up here and use it. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, it opens all the red doors. Okay. Why did the bomb explode? Oh, the bomb did not explode. Well, we didn't find the ultra secret room, but that's interesting. So Kane's soul opens all the red key doors that are adjacent to your current room. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry, fly. I hate that flies die on, uh... Oh God, on uh, Spike Rocks, Soul of the Keeper. Well, that's just an absurd amount of money. I do wish that our donation machine didn't uh, explode earlier, but you know, fair enough. That's a that's an, a golden Andrew penny, it's super rare. Bum, bum, bum. 
Thank you. Why did he drop a chest when I killed him? I'm feeling like uh, enemies are also dropping strange consumables and I'm, I don't quite understand why. <laughs> Feels like there's definitely something going on there. Okay, these guys are no problem. The more enemies there are, the easier it is to kill them. Giant cell micro friends. Yeah, why not? Mama always said I was good at making friends. Ooh, cards. Hero font? Let's um hold on to that one if we can. Yeah, hold it just in case. That's a just in case card. Do you think Kane's other eye would also have opened? Um, this is weird. Do you think Kane's other eye would have also opened the uh, boss trap room door? Like, do you think it acts like Dad's key? It says opens the unopenable. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's unopenable. If you don't have a key, it's unopenable. Would Kane's soul open it? I don't know. Hey, just out. Thank you very much for the resub. Spent it. It's gone. That's all true, just but consider this point. It. Period. Yeah, I get it. How can you have spent our savings? And thank you and welcome, by the way. You are quite fast, my champion friend. Yeah, we'll take uh, Forgotten Lullaby. That's another Soul of Cain right there. I I don't think it does anything, but we might as well... Let's hold on to the Soul of Cain, because it will allow us to access the secret door. Awaz. I forgot that you could hold these in your room. There you go. Oh, I almost... Almost ran into that chest. The peeper. We have a lot of wisps. We also have a lot of flies. And these flies are doing a good job of keeping our wisps alive. Bible Thump is such a great emoji. I like Bible Thump. Bible Thump is a good one. A good emote on Twitch. It's not really an emoji, because it's like not a part of the UTF-8 specification or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously. Yoink. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. 74 hearts saved up for the beast fight. When did we get Alkaldama? <laughs> You know, I think I've been doing a pretty good job of, of recognizing when we pick up these, uh, these items. When the hell did we get Akuldama? Okay. You are a champion and you are big. Is that another Soul of the Lost? It is. Is there a player character buried in all these summons? <laughs> we do have a lot of nonsense on the screen. We have like three rows of wisps. King Baby with the baby familiar friends. Oh good, range down. Swarm, so we're protected by a whole suite of black flies. We got a lot of stuff going on here. And I love it. The, the harder it is to see my own character in Isaac, the more fun I'm having. That's basically my, my experience with this game. I'm sorry, uh, yo, listen, I am not paying attention to you at all. <laughs> you might be showing me all sorts of cool things. I acknowledge that I'm not paying attention to you either. Zodiac. This is the speed one. 
you know, the speed one. Oh, I see you. What exploded? What's with this delayed explosion nonsense? <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think, I think it's a C-section baby. Hope you're not listening to this on the bus or something. Uh, it's a C-section baby that's hitting an enemy, and then when it despawns, it explodes. <laughs> And now I'm just being ultra careful of freaking everything because I'm tired of exploding. Soul of Jacob and Esau, bound by blood. Hello. I have an Esau. Hello. Um, can you pick up items? You can. You also have a lot of items. Okay. Can you, you can't take a pill? Can you take the, the souls? Nope. Okay, well. Well, welcome aboard, buddy. Um, good, to, good to see you. Welcome to the team, champ. Sport. Candy heart. Oh, he's gone. Tainted Isao, he's dead. He left. Well, I have no idea what happened there. It's another crawl space. Well, this <laughs> item that's completely worthless. And, uh, oh, hey, Stitches. Ironically enough, you could use stitches to get stitches if you had stitches. That's one of the ways you can get to that item in the wall. I find that to be highly interesting, that there's an item in the wall that you can't get unless you have, like, a teleport or some other way of getting through the wall. Highly irregular. It's highly irregular. Hmm. All right, we're going this way now. Now th that that explosion I don't understand. Why did it explode immediately? Whatever it was, why did it explode immediately? Also, Candy Heart does not seem to work, so uh, immediately disappointed forever. Why not eat the pills? Because it takes time, and I don't want to take time to do that. That's a guppy trinket. Counts as a guppy item. Unfortunately, we have no guppy items. I think it's really cool that you can actually have a guppy trinket to become guppy. It's it's hard to become guppy using it, but at least you have it. Bookworm transformation. Uh, we get flight after the first combat here anyway, so let's not worry about that. Little chest. I don't even know if we're at like the item cap. I don't know if there is an item cap for wisps. Hey, at least the brimstone laser doesn't like completely and utterly destroy my um my wisps and everything. Very happy about that. You know what I like the most about C-Section Baby? The fact that it's homing shots. It's effectively homing shots. Well, we lost something, so let's use Celtic Cross from Lemmageddon. The holy, what, where did you come from? So have 88 heart charges. I'll probably use them late in this fight when we start running out of wisps. There is a cap. Yeah, that's annoying. There should not be a cap. You should be able to get infinite wisps. Maybe that would be a little bit too powerful, but it would be fun. We just lost like four or five wisps. Unfortunately, the swarm is not protecting the outermost wisp layer. Okay. Dead onion, piggy bank, speedball, ball of tar, mom's razor. Safety pin.
Wait, we have like, we have BFF or something? Our, I'm just noticing our flies look really big. We have lodestone. Oh God, <laughs> it's just so much going on. The safety blanket too, I think. We just need another rainbow fetus run and man, that's weird to type out, says Architress. <laughs> I'd love some rainbow fetuses. Instead we have explosive fetuses. These fetuses, they pack a punch. These fetuses are on fire! Iron bar. I mean, is there even a point in dodging at this, at this stage? Bot fly farting baby little monstro. I got hit? Hold on, I gotta I gotta heal up now. Scatterbomb's mysterious liquid adrenaline. I like that yo listen is just kinda hanging out. Do you think this actually works? the um, mysterious liquid. By the way, by the way, car battery is so good. Oh wait, am I getting double Lemmageddon charges at a car battery? That's what, uh, that's probably why we picked up items I'm, I'm not familiar with. Like, wait, where did we get this item? It's probably car battery. Hello, you were frozen. So I actually kind of like want some wisps to, to disappear. Hold on, take, take some of my wisps, please. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. You know, it only looks like we're getting one per usage now. I don't know. Maybe that's not what's going on, but it, it feels like maybe we were getting double plays out of it. All right, good run. <laughs> Our win streak is back up to two. All right. After the horrible Tainted Cane run, before that and the, the Jacob and Esau runs, let's build it back up and now never ever lose another run ever again in Isaac. Wait, we were not playing as Isaac. We were playing as Bethany. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of The Binding of Isaac Repentance.